Earlier this week, Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar appeared to have been raided by the FBI. They're not formally using that terminology, but a bunch of FBI agents went into his house and his office, stayed for hours and came out with documents and computers. Which based on the TV shows that I've watched seems like a raid. Anyway, um, we talked about this on the show yesterday and didn't have many details. Now we have a little bit more, although it's still sort of just an appetizer for whatever it is that is actually going on. The FBI said um, that they had uh, raided his home and campaign office in Texas. This is the description from ABC News. As part of a wide ranging federal probe relating to the former Soviet state of Azerbaijan and several US businessmen. The federal grand jury in Washington is investigating the matter, but it's unclear if Cuellar is a target of the grand jury's probe. And I would really encourage everyone watching to bear in mind that this might not actually be about him specifically, or he could just be a minor player in whatever it is that they're looking. So just bear that in mind. Do not expect that, Oh no, he's out. He's gonna be pulling out of the race. He's gonna end up behind bars. We have no idea if that's even justified. Um, until then though, he has been in Congress since 2005 uh, as one of effectively in a lot of issues, the most conservative Democrats in the House. In recent years, he has served as a co-chair of the Congressional Azerbaijan Caucus and repeatedly met with uh, Azerbaijani um, officials, including the ambassador of the country uh, as well. So Brett, I, I don't know, I mean, we know, you know th th there's potentially obviously corruption components to this, that could be a part. Uh, oil, considering that it's Azerbaijan, could be a part. I don't know what to think, honestly. What do you think? This is the most mad libby story. <laughs> Henry Quay, give me a representative, Henry Cuellar. Give me a government agency, FBI. Give me a, a random former Soviet bloc country, uh, <laughs> Azerbaijan, because of all the J's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got a story. What it does, what I'm happy for is, that, and I love Henry Cuellar. I'm a Cuellar Cuello, um, as it, in Spanish it translates. It's not a Cuellar head, it's a Cuellar neck. Um, I'm a huge <laughs> Cuellar Cuello. Uh, he looks like a slightly overinflated balloon, and he look, and it's surprising every time he talks, and he that he doesn't sound like he just in, in, inhaled helium. Um, he to me is just a giant baby man. I don't. You know, it's it's that much more frustrating. He's basically like um, he, you know, this is the the reboot of Pinocchio, where it's just like a oh vaguely horrifying puppet that came to life and is now in charge of an entire district. And the best fact about him that I makes me love him is he could have chosen to vote with Trump any percentage of the time, mm -hmm. and he chose <laughs> to vote with Trump exactly sixty nine percent of the time. Nice. Nice. <laughs> um, I don't know about this. I feel like Henry Cuellar yeah. always is a great opportunity to remind me that he's up for primary March 1st, my 40th birthday um, in Texas. And um, yeah. Jessica Cisneros is head to head with him and deserves and should win. Yeah, it was very close last time around. By the way, uh, it was Chuck Todd, I think, that he actually covered the Cuellar thing. I think it was yesterday. It might have been two days ago. And he talked a couple times about how Cuellar is facing a really tough primary challenge, really tough. Don't know who, can't say the name, let's just move on. But yes, it is Jessica Cisneros and she has since yesterday's TDR put out a statement saying, we are aware of the news regarding Congressman Cuellar and the active FBI investigation. How much did they love typing active FBI investigation into a press release? We are closely watching as this develops. In the meantime, we are focused on our campaign to, to deliver change to South Texas families and will not be making any additional comments at this time. Nor will be we be having shady meetings with Azerbaijani businessmen. Uh, I added that last part. And uh, oh, by the way, uh, as of this morning, uh, Representative Alexandria Casa Cortez has endorsed Jessica Cisneros, as she did in the last cycle. And it's not surprising they're both Justice Democrats, but another little boost for her. And so uh, we have recently interviewed Jessica Cisneros. That is available on the channel on YouTube if you'd like to see as well as past interviews with her. Um, there's probably gonna be even more of a focus on what was already gonna be one of the most focused on primary challenges in this go round. So definitely something to keep an eye on. Any other thoughts, Brett? No, vote for her. I don't like Henry, Henry, Henry Cuellar. No, he's the worst. Uh, by the way, he's been sort of AWOL, he hasn't voted, uh, I don't think so far this month. And uh, he did pop up again today to accept some sort of reward 
for uh, effectively standing with conservatives on topics of uh, reproductive rights. That's cool for a Democratic Congress. I don't know, Jordan, anyway. Jordan Ewell did some good stuff on him last night on Deep Dive, just talking about how reminding everybody that he Pelosi stepped up and was like, this is a really good man. Even though he yeah. voted with the other guy 69% of the time. Yeah. Oh, Adrian is reminding me in the YouTube chat, Jessica Cisneros was on, I think, the conversation yesterday, I believe. So that's also available as well. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.